Welcome back to Storytime with Miss Shante. Today we're going to read Yucky Worms by Vivian French, illustrated by Jessica Adberger. Yucky Worms? How rude. They're not yucky. We're very nice. You like worms? I like worms. One day when I was in Grandma's garden, Grandma dug up a slimy, slithery, wiggly worm. Yuck! I said. Throw it away! Throw it away! Throw it away! Grandma looked horrified. Would you throw away one of your friends? You can't be friends with a worm. I said, you can't even tell which is which. Yes, you can. Watch, Grandma put the worms down. It gave kind of a squirmy wiggly and disappeared really fast, pointing in first. And as the rounded end vanished, Grandma said, There goes its tail. I bent down to look, and I could see it had left a tunnel. Where'd it go? Home. It's an earthworm. It lives underground. In most backyards, there will be about... 15 worms in every square yard of soil. But what if it, what does it eat? Dirt? I wanted to know. It eats tiny, tiny stones and bites of dirt, Grandma told me. But worms eat other things too, like rotting leaves and flowers and fruit and dead insects they especially like eating at night when it's cool worms come out above the ground to find things to eat nice and rotten just how I like it they pull their food back down as they wiggle into the ground again the stones and dirt help to grind everything up in the worm's stomach. And when the worm poops, it back out. Ooh! Grandma pointed at the flower bed. Look! Can you see? I bent down and I saw what looked like a weird, long, curly worm made of dirt. That's worm poop. Grandma said, it's called a cast. You know, when you recycle things, well, worms do it too. There's, a, there's still a lot of goodness left in things a worm eats. And when the goodness comes out again as poop, it helps plants grow big and strong. And as the worm moves around under and on top of the soil, the poop gets spread around the garden. Ooh! That's why worms are my friends. Grandma gave me a thumbs up. It's not just their poop that's good for plants. The tunnels they dig loosens the soil so roots can stretch out and air and Rainwater can get in. Look at all the tunnels they dig. Wow. But it's dangerous being a worm, Grandma said. I stared at her. Dangerous? I asked. She smiled at me. Lots and lots of animals think worms make the most delicious dinner. Shopping list for the mole. Worm, 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 worm. Birds love them. 
and so do moles and badgers and frogs and hedgehogs and foxes. Even some slugs eat worms. And human beings accidentally slice through them with spades and spikes them with a fork. It's a tough life. Cutting them in half doesn't hurt them, Grandma. Cutting them in half doesn't hurt them, Grandma, I said. They just turn into two worms and keep on growing. Grandma shook her head. Poor worms. Lots of people think that, but it's not true. She put her fork down. Time for a snack. Hmm. Grandma had tea. I had orange juice. Can I dig up a worm, I asked. If it rains, Grandma said, the worms will come out on their own. I took a cookie. What if it doesn't rain? Grandma winked at me. We'll use the watering can and pretend. I finished my cookie as fast as I could. Can we trick the worms now? Grandma filled the watering can and I watered the ground so I stood back and I didn't want worms chewing on my shoes. They only put their heads out, Grandma promised, and it'll be a while before they do. Grandma was right. I had time to eat two more cookies before she said, Look! Wow! I said, I could just see the tips of the worm above the ground. Now watch this, Grandma. Stomped her foot and the worm disappeared. Did you see? Did you see? Grandma shook her head. Worms don't have eyes. They feel vibrations, though, and the thump like that might mean a hungry bird is landing. Danger! Grandma dug her fork into the ground. Up came lots of dirt and wiggly worms. She picked up and washed it in the watering can. Mustn't drop it, she said. They can't swim. Grandma put the clean worm on a paper and held it near my ear. I could hear a rustling sound. What's that? They're covered in little bristles, Grandma said. The bristles and their muscles help them move. Did you know worms had bristles? I didn't. You've got muscles, too. I bent my arm so Grandma could see. If you've got so many muscles, she said, maybe you'll like to help me plant my sunflower seeds. Okay, I agreed, and then I thought of something. When I go to school on Monday, I'm going to say that I got lots of new friends. Good idea, said Grandma. But, I said, I might not actually say they're worms. And in the back of the book, it's how to be a wormologist and what to look for. And you can do experiments and all kinds of things. So check out the book at the library. Yucky worms! But they're not really yucky. They're very helpful. Hope you enjoyed the story today. Tune in next time. Bye.